All right, so the first thing that I do, as always, I use the pin tool to cut out the subject. Here, I'm also using the refine tool just by double clicking the mask and refining the edge. Then once I'm done with that, I'll go in with a textured brush and a pressure pin tablet to get the hair looking more realistic. All right, so I'm using Kitbash 3D for some of the assets in the scene. I'm using parts of the kit just to kind of build something interesting looking. And at this point of the edit, I'm just doing some experimenting with different things to see what looks good. All right, so what I like to do is add image plane to the scene and put the color into the emission to give it kind of some realistic light coming in. And I'll just do that on both sides. As always, in every single render that I do, I like to add volume scatter to a cube and put that into the volume in the material output to give it some atmosphere in the image. Uh, it's always just looks way better in my opinion. Then yeah, I'll just continue to add lighting and make it more interesting looking and trying my best to make the lighting consistent with the image that I have in the first place. I just add some point lights here and uh, make it orange and uh, kind of position them to make it more interesting and, uh, and it adds a little bit of depth. So here I'm just like experimenting a lot and I'd like to kind of just make things crazy and I just, I don't want to make things too uniform. I think it looks cool, kind of like messed up a little bit. So here's a floor that I added and it's just cubes 
I just subdivided the floor and on each tile I, I would uh, extrude it up or extrude it down and then yeah that's how I did that. Um, so yeah, uh, here's Photoshop. I'm just making a roughness map and just trying to make it kind of interesting. In the end, I added brush strokes to it just because it was it was not rough enough. Here I'm just experimenting with different trees. Uh, I end up with just one kind of cool looking tree. It's, I think it's kind of like a deserty look to it. So I thought that was kind of consistent with Final Fantasy 15. Uh, so I, I like the way it looked. Alright, so I'm adding depth of field to the image just with a empty. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put that way up because my subject was really close to the camera and um, it was making it look a little bit too blurry in the background for me. I added some more assets to the scene, these chain assets. And if you guys want to know how I do the chain, I can make a video about it. So let me know in the comments if you want a video about how to make chains. It's pretty easy. So we're in Photoshop now, and I'm just trying to make the subject as consistent as I can with the scene. I do a global color grade uh, in camera raw to kind of bring the scene together. And we're getting it super consistent at this point in Photoshop. And I'm just trying to make sure the values are good to go. And here I'm doing some atmosphere just with the smoke brush. And just adding some uh, interest to the scene with some atmosphere and some lighting with uh, color dodge and screen blending modes. All right, um, I make sure to sharpen the image and add some noise on top of everything to uh, bring the noise levels together because I did some painting and the render had noise and the subject had different noise levels so I made that super consistent with a 50% gray layer and adding noise on that. <laughs> 